Well, I think this is going to be pretty fun because, you know, the lovely tradition of New Year's and uh, I think NXT's New Year's Evil is really cool. I think NXT, after the shit show I just seen last night with <laughs> World's End, um, let me talk about something that actually works well, and it's NXT, um, at least in my opinion. They are doing their, <laughs> you know, like they're doing their, 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 um, they're, they're really doing it right, in my opinion. Um, so I was, I guess I'll just show my, my, uh, thoughts and my predictions. Latino World Order, uh, versus No, No Quarter Catch Crew, um, so you have LWO, Walking Wild, uh, Cruz del Toro, and Dragon Lee, the uh, NXT North American champion, um, versus uh, No Quarter Catch Crew, Drew Gulak, Miles Bourne, and uh, Damon Kemp. Six man tag team match. I guess I'll just go with uh, Latino World Order. Uh, Ariana Grace versus Roxanne Perez for a singles match. Roxanne Perez has gotten so good lately for me. She's fucking... She is extremely attractive. She is... The hottery is... <laughs> the sexery or whatever. The sexiness or whatever you could call it is killing me. She is just... It really getting I'm getting very serious here. She's doing so good. She's doing so well. And um I am happy for her. And Ariana Grace, um, which is Santino Morella's daughter, it's great to see, you know, this guy seeing his daughter fulfill, you know, his own, you know. So I love Roxanne, but for for a youngster, I'm going for Ariana. Fallon Henley versus Tiffany Stratton. Uh, this is really cute. <laughs> Ranch hand or servant match. Um, if uh, Fallon Henley wins, Tiffany Stratton will become a ranch hand. Her ranch hand, and if Stratton wins. Fallon will be her servant. I know where they're going, but me being a being a tiffy tiffy enough that I I own her. I'm hot shirt. Um, I'm going for Stratton because I love Stratton, but um, I know what's gonna happen because uh, they are not just looking for winners. They're looking for. Uh, Embarrassing shit since 1995. No, 97, 98. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've seen some embarrassing shit, though. Riley Osborne versus Oba Femi of the men's breakout tournament final match. Um, I'm going for Riley Osborne. Lyra, which I'm not a fan of, versus Blair Davenport. Uh, Lyra can't be just Lyra. She is trying i i don't want to get to it but she is she i've seen this before it's a clone it's a becky lynch clone you know it's a i've seen i've seen this shit before i'm going for blair davenport and congratulations blair on your engagement um Ilya dragonov versus uh trick williams all right, so you got my picks for Blair Davenport for the NXT Women's Championship. Ilya versus Trick. Uh, one thing I'm going to say is, at first, from the beginning, um, the whole thing with Carmelo, which I grew to like Carmelo as a uh, champion, an XG champion, better than this shit show I just seen last night. But um, Trick, I grew to like Trick. But I'm I'm going for Ilya. So here's my these are my predictions. 
uh, LWO for the six-man tag team match. Ariana Grace for the singles match with Roxanne Perez. Tiffany Stratton for the ranch hand or servant match. Again, that sounds fucking cute. <laughs> um, just I love those types of matches. I just think it's adorable. For some reason, people might get what I mean, though. Um, Riley Osborne uh, for the uh, men's breakout tournament final match. Blair Davenport for the NXT Women's Championship. And Ilya uh, hoping to retain for the singles match for NXT Championship. So I hope you like these predictions. And I'm hoping to, to do more of these uh, within time. And uh, New Year's Evil was always um, next to Halloween Havoc, my favorite special episode of NXT. And um, I'm happy they're doing more of these. So uh, can't wait uh, for this to be uploaded.